What's going on? So I've been trying to make a video for a couple of days now and I made it and I didn't like it. And then I tried to do it again and they were working on like my roof. Um, Cause I live in an apartment and they were working on my roof and they might still do, that's not my roof. I mean, I guess technically it is. Um, I think it's a, there's a, cause I'm on like the third floor of an apartment building and there's a generator. And I have to believe that that's what that sound is. Um, but I, but for the past couple of days, um, they've been working on my roof, like hammers, jackhammers, you know, just they've been doing a lot up there. And so I, so even the video that I made that was good, I didn't like. And then when I tried to make it again, anyway, um, a, another fail, if you want another fail, um, I finished Rush for Glory and I decided to buy the pass for no real reason other than to get uh, shards um, because you can get four shards here, four shards here, uh, four shards here, three shards here, um, two shards here, as well as uh, getting the 1800, um, what's it called? Uh, the 1800 uh, coins uh, so that you could then, because I, I don't care about, this is how much I don't care about Minotaur anymore, um, so that you can then use all of that into Epic Hero Fragments because I was four away from a gadget. Um, I meant to do this on stream, or uh, not on stream, in a video. Um, I was going to do that whole opening. Um, I had a thousand... Um, what's it called? I had a thousand uh, magic dust, so I was going to do an exchange, and then I was just about to get the um, the legendary right here. And so, I accidentally opened something, and then I was like, oh, you know, I'm just going to, I'm just going to open everything. So, I got a dryad, so I have a third dryad, an inquisitor, so I have a third inquisitor. Um, from this, all I needed were four shards of gadget, I got nothing. I got literal nothing in all of those, um, uh, all of the uh, exchanges that I did, all of the random ones on the left side uh, that I got, nothing. All I needed were four, I, I was convinced that if I did all of that, I would probably just luck into four gadget pieces and I'd be able to get a 14 and do that in a video. That didn't happen either. And, and, the other reason why I did Rush for Glory um, and why I even wanted to buy the pass was because for the longest time, all I needed were like four gems because I was at like 196 and I needed 200 um, to buy the seasonal uh, the seasonal essence chest uh, for the 400 that I would need to upgrade the uh, or awaken um, my hunter's jacket so that I could potentially use battle throw. So I, I bought it, used it, and it gave me Magic Council. So now I have to spend 1200 to unlock the third one, which is the Forest Alliance that I need. So I am spending so much just to get this battle thrill. And it's so good, and I'm gonna do it. I'm just saying I was just failing on all accounts. Um, and that was a really long intro. Um, but I'm going to the, the, my own, my whole purpose of making this video, um, is to recreate a video that I started this channel with, um, and that is how to co-op. Um, I feel like a lot of people do not know how to co-op. Um, a lot of people have really bad habits when co-oping. And so if you're, if you've ever had the question of like, how do I co-op better? How do I make it so that my um, co-op partner doesn't hate me? Um, I'm gonna show you both sides. Um, and by both sides, I mean, I'm gonna show you uh, the, uh, the uh, offense side, as well as the, uh, the co-op side, the, um, the person doing shaman and uh, the support side. Um, so I'm obviously going to use my peanut account. Um, and what I'm going to call this video is co-op 20 rounds. Um, because co-op at its core should be a cooperative experience. You shouldn't have to do everything. You shouldn't have to either as an offense player with a scrapper, you shouldn't have to necessarily do everything. But at the same time, um, you shouldn't do nothing. Um, 
I find that most people that play co-op, uh, they tend to um, they tend to set up their their deck like however they want it, and then they just give you the thumbs up, and then you're supposed to just do everything from then from that point on if you're the support player, um, which is why they tend to run. Um, uh, Magic Cauldron and Trickster and Demonologist and I'm telling you right now you don't need to run any mana producing unit um, if you are running support do not run any mana producing unit and if you feel like you need mana producing units um, because you don't have enough mana and you can't do enough it's because your opponent is actually not doing enough my uh, support player uh, is going to be playing uh, Clock uh, Witch, Shaman, Harlequin, Mime, and then Snowflake. Uh, my reasoning for Snowflake is theoretically, uh, if you run into Bedlam, um, you can do double Bedlam. So you uh, you do everything that you can for your field, um, and then you uh, what's it called you you do everything that you can for your field, and then um, you get Bedlamed, right? You do everything you can again. And then you snowflake or trainer, or you just stun the bedlam any way you can, and then you can get double bedlamed. Um, I'm specifically using snowflake because uh, sometimes the first opening rounds are hard. Obviously, not for this deck. Um, I will be fine. <laughs> um, but as a support player, I like playing uh, snowflake uh, because it does both things it will kill an entire wave. Um, as well as stun a, a Bedlam. I mean, obviously you can use Elementalist, you could technically use a Trainer if that's all you have, um, but I would use one of one of those. Uh, so I'm gonna jump into a co-op. Um. I'm going to trust that I did not, that I changed all my talents. I did. <laughs> um, and I'm just going to set up. Um, and your, your goal is to set up as obviously as quickly as you can. Um, this is me setting up obviously a Blade Dancer deck, but the, the same principles are there. Do not do un any unnecessary merges. Um, and that's specifically why you should probably run the Dryad. Um, and when I say unnecessary merges, I mean like merging these two. You can, um, but there's no real reason to, um, especially if you're not running a Dryad to help you fix the problem. For example, if I were to move this uh, Portal Keeper here um, and then merge out the two Portal Keepers and this becomes a Knight Statue, I would be screwed, right? And then your your next goal is, oh god, I need to merge out another one, so maybe I can get another scrapper. But now it's a Dryad, right? Um, this is specifically why I would run Dryad in this deck. Um, because it'll give you a 1, 2, 3, um, a 1, 2, 3 Dryad, and you can basically go infinite. Um, you can go for a very, very long time. Um, and I would highly recommend running, uh, if you're running anything with a scrapper um, I would highly recommend running Dryad um, because you'll be able to uh, fix everything uh, so here I can actually do that um, I can keep some oh I should have saved that there we go I can save that one there we go um, I would highly recommend uh, at the very least uh, level oneing everything uh, making everything at least a level two uh, with the amount of red red guys running around and the amount of like tribunal theoretically um, oh here's another tip uh, before in your co-op game or uh, your as if you're playing co-op at the end of the first round don't do anything during the entire first round don't do anything and then um, in between rounds, like right here, summon in one time and max out your clock and your witch um, so that you don't have to do it anymore. And um, in the case that you get can't, in can't improve, um, which is what I just got, um, you won't be screwed over in the case that in this round you want to do stuff. Um, for, the, for your uh, support player, if you are running witch, um, and this goes for PvP as well, obviously, if you are running witch... Um, 
always level up before you send a witch. Um, it kind of works in the same way that chemist does. Um, I'm actually going to use this one. Um, it works in the same way that uh, chemist does. Uh, if a witch targets a thing, um, the bonus that it gets will always be um, the level that it was at when when you made that dis when you sent it. Um, so if uh, so, witch actually gets better if you mana upgrade. So if you send a whole bunch of level ones and they hit all of your opponents, right, all of your co-op units, <clears throat> um, it does the least amount of buff or debuff, uh, depending on what your level currently is. And if you hit it ag again after you level it up, it doesn't replace it. Um, it's whatever hits first. Um, so always... Uh, buff up your witch before you do anything with witch. Um, if you were playing a uh, blade dancer, right, um, and you're doing T setup, always uh, buff the center one uh, because the center one will get the bonus from the better uh, knight statue. I'm going to leave this here uh, in the case that I get a uh, portal keeper. Um, I can portal keeper into the space uh, like that. I like that every single thing that I'm saying uh, is actually happening in this game. Obviously, because I have um, Elegant Parry, uh, this will eventually go away, and I obviously don't care about either of these. Um... So I could uh, merge that, but that's a dangerous merge. And it's unnecessary. Um, I have to upgrade everything. But I do want to get this last um, Blade Dancer here. That's not great. That wasn't cool at all. As a uh, player that has Scrapper, always keep Scrappering. If you can Scrapper, always Scrapper. Um, I'm actually going to eat this. Oh, actually, this is fine. This is actually really good for us. Um, because like, oh, okay. <laughs> I, I thought that that was going to give... Oh, no, that was still good for us. Okay. Um, so now I can eat everything. And now I'm just going to scrap her until I can't scrap her anymore. Until it's not safe to scrap her. And that's going to be... I want to say a little bit, but... Um, having two already, like the best summon in right now would be two dryads, um, so that you can make one of these a three. I just need one more. I was going to say, but the worst thing that could summon in would be a scrapper because now I have to eat this. Um, and I'm just going to do that. It's fine. Um, because I'd rather just continue scrappering. Um, here I told you about Bedlam. Um, I'm actually going to continue just doing stuff because I can. Um, I can't even use this. I mean, I, I suppose I can use this to do that um, because then that gives me um, an extra hit. Um, and this is now um, an unsafe time for me to do anything. Uh, so I'm actually going to merge these out um, and basically call it a day. Um, because right now, uh, there's no reason for me to merge in. Um, because now I'm at this point, I'm just hoping for a, a, a level one scrapper. And I have two chances to do it. If it becomes a knight statue and a portal keeper, I'm screwed. Um, so at this point, um, I'm going to do nothing. And I'm going to... Uh, I mean, technically, if we were in an actual game, I would probably go thumbs up. Um, as a co-op person, um, I have a couple of rules. One, always summon in um, your entire field. Uh, two, uh, always merge witches with witches. Oh, this is really bad. 
This is like the worst kind of like, okay. Um, clocks, always merge them out unless it's a level three or above clock. Um, once your field is merged in, or once you have a full field, you will have all of the options that you could potentially have. Use all of your Harlequins on shamans. And instead of uh, merging shamans with shamans, if you have mimes, use the mimes. Also, do not use uh, the level two first. Always use your lowest levels. Um, so I'm gonna use this one. Um, but see now, um, if you go back to my original statement, always summon in because then you will have the most amount of options. Um, I'm gonna use a mime, uh, summon in. Um, I'm gonna use, uh, always do witches and clocks first. Uh, uh, summon in, I'm just gonna use a shaman here. I can actually get rid of this one, but never, uh, don't use uh, mimes on witches or clocks, always merge them together. Um, so I'm gonna use this one on this. Um, Summon in. I'm gonna copy um, a Harlequin uh, with the Shaman. Um, I'm going to use a one. Summon in. Uh, I'm gonna use a one. Summon in. Um, always merge out witches. Summon in. I'm gonna uh, Harlequin that. Um, always use your lower levels first. Uh, summon in. Use a lower level again. Summon in, uh, copy. Um, now that I only have one level one uh, shaman, I'm gonna actually save it. And instead I'm gonna start using my level twos. Um, so I'm gonna use a mime on a two. I'm gonna use a mime on a two. I'm gonna use a mime on a two. And then I'm gonna summon in. Uh, like I said, um, always merge out up to uh, level three clocks. If you have a level three clock, you can keep it. Um, anything else, merge them out. Uh, which on which? Um, I'm gonna uh, copy all of the Harlequins again, and then again, uh, start with the lower levels first. Uh, so I'm gonna cop, um, use a level one. Uh, I'm gonna use the Mime again. Um, I'm gonna copy. Red guys can actually help you um, when you're playing the, uh, the co-op deck. Actually, I haven't been uh, monitoring my Blade Dancer side. Uh, for my Blade Dancer side, I have two level twos uh, that I can merge together. Um, I can actually upgrade and send my last gadget piece. Um, and I'm going back to my co-op side, I'm gonna summon in. Um, I have this level one mime, I'm gonna use that on a shaman. Uh, summon in, level one mime on a shaman, summon in. Uh, level one my mana shaman because I still have a level one um, But because I again, I only have the two level ones. I'm gonna do um, I'm gonna merge out these two clocks uh, Summon in I'm gonna merge out the witch summon in I'm gonna merge out the two level two witches summon in um, I'm gonna use the mime um, on one of the shamans I'm gonna uh, summon in. I'm gonna use the two level three witches. Uh, summon in. Uh, merge out the two clocks. Summon in. Um, I still only have the one uh, level one shaman, so instead I'm gonna focus attention onto the level twos. Um, I don't have any mimes, uh, which is fine. Uh, I'm gonna just merge out two, my, two level two mimes. Uh, summon in again. Uh, what you're hoping for here is when you merge out these two level two shamans that you're going to get a level one Harlequin um, or another shaman, at which point you can then use one of the mimes on a shaman, uh, summon in, use a mime on a shaman, summon in. Um, I'm actually going to copy these level three. Um... Oh, you know what? I'm going to wait because the, uh, the bonus thing is happening. Um, I'm going to copy a clock with this level four because that's a really high clock, and I don't want that one to be getting any higher. The Harlequins and your Shamans will start upgrading by themselves. Um, I'm gonna merge out these two level two uh, clocks. Um, because I have this level three Mime, I am gonna start using it, um, but I'm gonna use the Harlequin on the Shaman first. Um, I'm gonna use the Mime again on a Shaman. Uh, summon in. Um, Harlequin on a mime, 
Um, I can still use uh, these level ones, so I'm just gonna uh, merge out to, uh, oh, no, now I can, um, which is fine. I'm actually going to uh, copy all of the shamans here um, and start using these. Uh, so I have the level three uh, mime that I'm gonna use on a shaman. Um, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna merge two level three shamans. Uh, I'm gonna copy again a, um, a clock. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of the, I'm gonna merge out, uh, you know what? I'm gonna see what this red guy does. Yeah, that didn't help. Um, I'm gonna merge out the, the two level three uh, shamans. Um, I'm gonna copy a level four again. Uh, merge out the witches. Uh, Cause like I said, you always merge out witches uh, with witches. Um, I have an excess amount of uh, level two shamans. So I'm gonna use uh, two on twos. Um, I'm gonna use the mime on a shaman. Summon in. I'm gonna merge out the two clocks. Um, summon in. I'm gonna merge out the two witches. Summon in. Um, copy a mime. Uh, copy a shaman. Use the mime on a shaman. Summon in. Uh, copy the two shamans. Um, because I have a lot of ones, I'm gonna merge out the two level ones. Uh, summon in. Merge out the two shamans. Uh, copy the shaman. I'm gonna merge out two level two shamans. Um, and if you look at my blade dancer field, uh, basically everything is at a safe amount, um, it, with the exception of the level two uh, knight statue, which is really awkward. Um, but I'm actually going to say that this is pretty much all you really need to do. Um, your blade dancer player needs to basically do nothing for the rest of this game. You just need to get better clocks. Um, I'm going to merge out everything, basically. Uh, I'm going to merge out the two level ones, uh, merge out the witches. Um, I'm going to Harlequin and then merge out the shamans. At this point, I'm just going to keep all of my, uh, my clocks, uh, merge this one out, uh, merge the two level fours out. Uh, the level five clock is really good right there. Um, I'm gonna still Harlequin um, a shaman, use the mime, um, and then I'm just going to copy a clock. Um, that actually worked out really well for us um, because then I can do that into that, into that. And that's pretty much it. I have, uh, you saw the amount of thing that I was able to do and how much I was able to uh, co-op help. And if you just make better decisions, you don't need mana. Um, my co-op person is currently at 50,000 mana. You don't need mana producing units. You just need to be more efficient um, with what you do with your mana. Um, I feel like most people, um, they don't think about like harlequining shamans and then miming shamans as opposed to uh, combining shamans together. I don't, I think people also um, harlequin witches, which is um, uh, insane uh, because your co op person only has a finite amount of things that the witch will affect and it will only affect it the one time. So once a witch gets onto one of the blade dancers um, at max, uh, once the witch uh, attaches to a blade dancer it doesn't uh, attaching another uh, witch to the blade dancer doesn't do anything um, so there's no real reason to get more witches um, and clocks are not as important early game so you can merge out level one level two clocks uh, because they don't matter and you'd rather have higher level clocks if you are going to randomly merge into them um, and you can save them um, and then over the course of the game, you will amass like a larger quantity of clocks that are better clocks. Um, what you want to do is you do want to focus on Harlequins and sh uh, Harlequin, Harlequining uh, shamans, but you also want to be using your mimes on shamans um, because that is the most efficient way to do that. Um, just casually merging witches with witches 
Um, I basically have everything on on the field. Every single blade dancer has a witch on them, and it's at the maximum strength because I upgraded witch um, before I sent a single witch. Um, <clears throat> with all of these uh, tips, I hope this helps you. Um, I hope this uh, makes you realize that you know, like if you're if you're playing support and your opponent doesn't think that you're a good enough support because you didn't do everything. Like they set up, you know, <clears throat> seven uh, level one blade dancers and two level one knight statues and they just said, you know, okay, you can do it. <laughs> um, and they expect you to make everything a level seven. Um, and if you can't, then now you feel like, oh, I just needed more mana because I my mana cost was too high. It's like, no, that's not the reason. The reason why is because they should have been doing everything that they could do uh, up until like round 20. And then, um, because it's cooperative, it's supposed to be, you're supposed to do things. Um, and it's not always just on you as the support person. Um, I feel like a lot of... Um, people who think that they have like really good decks don't they when they play co-op for some reason they stop playing um the game um and they think that the co-op person is just going to shaman them to victory and you can um but the, their levels need to be a reasonable height in order for that to happen um and at a certain point you also need to know when to stop um, if my if this blade dancer player decided to summon in right here, which I actually had, I uh, I, I I tried to do this video where I was playing the support version, um, and my opponent actually had a max level blade dancer, and he got to about this uh, this height. I think one blade dancer was like a level five, and everything else was basically a seven because he helped me over the course of the game, um, and so, but then he decided to summon in. And I don't understand why. And he summoned in like just really bad things. And we didn't lose, but I was real mad about it because there's no reason to summon in. Um, if I had, if he has like, you know, this level three knights at you, if that really bothers you, um, that's a, that's a you thing. You don't like you, we will win even if all of these things aren't level sevens. Like everything doesn't have to be a level seven for you to win, you know, round 13. Um, and at a certain point, you have to realize that uh, as the offense player, as the offense player with a scrapper. Sometimes um, when you summon in, I only have three chances to get a level one scrapper. And if it becomes a knight statue, a blade dancer, and a portal keeper, what are you going to do? Um, and then as the support player, you do have to realize when to quit. Like when you've just done enough. Like I can continue doing stuff, but there's no real reason to. Um, other than my just my own amusement um, and like I could max out the board um, like this that's actually a really good screenshot I like that screenshot actually no I'll screenshot this in between in between this round I, I like uh, screenshotting when um, in between rounds oh no he's gonna get rid of my clock no can I summon in a clock? Yeah! Look at me go. There we go. Um, I like screenshotting in between rounds when nothing is happening. See, like, if I were to summon in right here... Oh, I got it. Well, look at me go. Go, go, go. No, I, no, but seriously, though, I would not recommend summoning in. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, hopefully that helps. Um, hopefully that helps your co-op game. Uh, if you want me to do a separate video, like, I, I, don't, I don't even know if, like, a separate video would help. Um, but, like, with me showing the co-op side specifically on like the phone so that I can like wiggle, wiggle what unit I'm summoning or I don't know. Um, <clears throat> uh, let me know, let me know in the comments. Um, I think that that was pretty self-explanatory at, you know, like the halfway point, you just got to like switch vis vision to like the top. And, um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much, that's pretty much it. Um, 
I'll, I'll see you guys next video.